take this forward. Very few clubs, I was mentioning to him, that uh, do this type of uh, workshops, invite people, have a variety of activities. Anyway, that, that's not my subject. Let me come straight to my subject. I was supposed to start at 5 o'clock. Now it is almost uh, 6, I think. Train is running great. Train yeah. is running great. You, you, you know, uh, what I want to convey to you cannot be done in 15, 20 minutes. But I'll give the gist of it. I'll make you aware of what is the propagation of plants so that you don't make mistakes. My 50 years of experience I'll share you. Short. And those who want to really learn more deep into this subject, please come and uh, attend my workshops there because you need about two, three hours. Because I make this. Both, 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 um, both, 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 if you don't mind. Yeah. Uh, I, I make people do these practical things. Otherwise, this is just a talk and you forget. Most of you forget if you are not very keen. It's just for knowledge. But I'm so happy that uh, people from Parra, Kolwale, Olali, of course, so nice, they have come to Saligao here. See, if we want to propagate, even human beings, we don't need two people. All human beings can be produced as of today, only sexual. There is a move, including the animals, to propagate them by tissue culture. They have succeeded in uh, some animals, but the church is against propagating the human being by tissue culture. You, you got my point, what, what is the tissue culture? So, uh, let's take this little boy here. If you want the same boy, you can produce in millions, actually, by, in the laboratory. But it, it's not worth it, it's not a good idea. Good that church is against this. So, uh, same thing happens with the plants. Uh, one day somebody asked me, How do they have sex? They do have. And we also train them how to, do, to have sex. See, the plants are propagated, I talk only about the plants now, are propagated sexually and asexually. Sexually is by seeds only. You know, many years ago, people used to grow only by seeds. They traveled the world and brought seeds to Goa from Africa, Burma, and, uh, and diff of different places. And we do have uh, plants come from different continents here. That's all by seeds. But today, we want to multiply asexually or it's called vegetative propagation of plants. I'll give you a few examples why we need to adopt this method so that we get the same thing. We call it true to the type. Like for example, we are in the season of mangoes now. All of you must have noticed when you go in the market, you buy malpurat, maksa, you buy penjin or you buy from Nestor, who is a great farmer, you know, you will find there is a difference in taste, difference in uh, quality. Some are fibrous, some are got spongy tissue, some are small, some are big. Uh, outside there, sometimes the reddish in color, sometimes only yellow. So it varies. To my knowledge, I remember. 16 strains of Malpura in Goa and I have tasted them. So, now what happens? When you want to have that the best of Malpura, let us say it is an Alice's compound. So how do I get that? Because Alice vouches, this is the best Malpura in the world. So Oswald also says the same thing. So many people come and tell me, who help me to propagate this mango tree or jackfruit tree. I, I have one condition to them. Bring the mangoes to me first to taste. Or bring the jackfruit. You may like it, I must like it to come and do it. I do help people like this. I check if it is good. I go anywhere in Goa 
and do vegetarian propagation. Now, first thing what people do when you want to propagate any plant, and I said seed, next is by cuttings. You know, cutting shoots we call very commonly. Now, no. I don't know all the people in you know, order to just pull the branch. Because they said roots will not form if you don't do that. But science has proved that that is not required. You have to make cuttings. There are different types of cuttings you can make. Hard wood, we call it, very strong, old wood, semi and soft. You can do all this in most of the plants. Do you know? We all believe that mangoes have to be only grafting. You know that you can do by some other method. And by what? How do you prepare wood? Air layer. Air layer, very good. Have you tried cuttings? Mango can be propagated by cuttings. The old days are gone. You can do by hairing and... Uh, but what is the advantage of uh, doing by cuttings and hairing? That I must tell you. I do that. I have a big mango plant done by hairing and cuttings. The advantage of this, you know, when it is uh, cutting or hairing, that, uh, in, that plant does not have a tap root system. Like for example, if you grow up the hill in Saligaon when it's very rocky, and if you have an air air plant, it's advantageous. They grow horizontally. Two feet soil is enough to grow huge mango. Otherwise, you have to make a huge pot, a uh, uh, pit. Very often people come to me, I have done, I have read about it. It's set to three feet by three feet by three feet. They are not wrong because Every book that we read will tell you that this is the size of the pit that we require for a mango tree. But remember, in the hard rock, it is like planting in a cement pot. Roots can't go beyond that. Same thing with coconut. So, you have to have a large pit. I have done some, uh, I have somebody with one, five cubic meters of soil 